measurements qualify you for being in the straight hip category and how does that affect your patterns and then your ultimate fit of your clothing. Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, whimsically referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. So this is the fourth in our mini-series of talking about hip shapes, drawing off your patterns, and why we can get you such an excellent fit with your SureFit Designs patterns. So today the focus is on the straight shaped hip, often called rectangular shape as well. I've got a couple of photographs here to show you of really good examples. This first one is of the lady in the leotards and you can see from the fact that she's got her top tucked in there's not a lot of difference between her waist, her high hip, and her low hip. If anything her low hip is likely a little bit smaller than her waistline is. She actually did not send me her measurements, so we are going to use the next photograph. And this lady not only so very kindly sent me photographs, but in addition she gave me her measurements. So you can see here, in fact this lady actually, she emailed me and she said, my waist is bigger than either my high hip or my low hip. And you can see that reflected in the photographs that she provided. So let's take a look. Her waist measurement was 41 inches. Her high hip is 39 and a half and her low hip is 38 inches. Front crotch is 13 and back crotch is 15 inches long. So let's take a look at the pants pattern. In the case of a straight shaped hip person, you actually, you really don't even need these hip fitting darts. So we are going to eliminate them. You saw from the photographs how straight up and down the body is. You don't need darts. Darts are for shaping. And she didn't have much shape. Neither of them did. All right, so the first thing, of course, is putting in the straight of grain. And then I need to use these measurements, these coordinates. Her back crotch length is 15 inches long. So I'm going to go up the center of the grid and find the 15 and her waist is 41 inches. So let me just grab this. We've got 15 inches coming down and we've got 41 for a waist measurement coming up. So as I follow down the angle and slope of the 15 and I follow the 41 up, I'm going to make a dot right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the side waist. 15 down and 41 up where the two crisscross you would make your dot. However, I'm going to be erasing those dots because what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the dots in and I'm going to remove this dart. So how wide is the dart? It is exactly one inch wide. So on the side seam, I'm going to remove a half an inch. And I have to cross that off, but at home, you're going to be drawing in pencil, right? So you can just erase that mark. And here I'll do the same thing. I'm going to move in a half an inch and erase or cross off that dot. Okay, so now in effect, I have removed that dart completely. And because you are a straight shaped figure, I'm going to recommend that you just use the straight edge that's on the designing stylus to join your waistline together. And now you're going to use this as your beginning point to come down and do your crotch curvature. So this is back crotch point number one, and I use her low hip measurement here being 38. And back crotch point number two, I also use the 38 dot. And then I'll take the designing stylus, use this arrowhead that says match to back crotch point number one, put it into back crotch point number one to your specific dot, and then connect to your waist dot. And then I can't quite see my dot number two, so I'm just going to do a little pivoting right there. Use this arrowhead and that dot as your pivot point, And then I will draw around. And that puts on her back crotch curvature. Now, on the hip line, 
we do have a series of dots that says high hip measurement and her high hip measurement was 39 and a half and her low hip measurement is 38. Now, even though she sent me these measurements, she did not send me the distance from her waist to her high hip and waist down to low hip. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the dots that are on the pattern. And our high hip was 39 and a half and her low hip is 38. And now to connect these together, again, I will just review the hip curvature is right on this curvy side of the designing stylus, but the orientation for the pant back is to flip the stylus over. When you're drawing the pant front, then the orientation for the designing stylus is in this direction. All right, so we've just flip it over, and now I, I would say find the curve on the master pattern and slip it out and connect your dots, but you can't do that because on the master pattern we have a curve. And you can see as I go to connect these dots together, what is automatically happening is that she is straight, straight, straight. And in fact, if anything, it is pivoting outward just a little bit to accommodate for her tummy and waist area, which is 41 inches around. So this pattern really is reflecting the whole body shape that that particular lady has. Then we're just going to continue down. Whoops, I have to mark in some more dots here. We are at 38 in the low hip and a 38 there, and I've done the inseam, so now I can continue down. And the pattern actually, the leg of the pattern starts to move inward just a little bit. And so that's why I flop the designing stylus over. So now you can see it's coming down into her hip measurement being 38 inches all the way down. In the last video on the, what was that that I did, the diamond shaped, I, I talked about reducing the leg width if you want to. You may not need to in this case, it might be just fine. So always test a long pair of pants. It gives you a better impression on the hang and the grain line and then you can also see if you want to make any modifications to the hem circumference and the leg width. But there we have the back of the pant for the straight shaped hip. Now let's go on to the skirt. Again we're looking at the skirt back. I've drawn in the center back and put in the straight of grain. Now in preparation for this video I did put the dart in but you know what? we're not going to use it, so I'm just going to put an X through there. So let's go over and take a look at what happens now when I put in her relevant numbers. Her waist is 41, so there's the 41 dot there. Her high hip is 39 and a half, so that's that dot right there, and her low hip is 38. And you're going to look at that series of dots and say, how the heck do I connect those dots together? Well, number one is we are not going to use that dot, are we? Because the width of the dart right here, let me measure that, see how wide it is. And what we have there is an inch and a half wide dart. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to remove an inch and a half right there. And look what happened. That put it almost in perfect line with her high hip. Because she just simply does not need that dart. She is so straight. Both of those ladies were. Even the one that was a little straighter than the, the, the one that had the bigger tummy and waist area. Neither of those ladies needed the dart. So you get rid of it. All right. Now, if I were to connect from here to here, down here, again, I'm getting a dog leg coming kind of in like this. And I'm just going to draw this in pencil because it's not going to be my finished line. So if we continued this red pencil line down, you can see what's happening to the side seam of the skirt. And you wouldn't want that. You want your skirts, even though I've flared this one a little bit, you wouldn't want your skirt to tuck inward underneath 
your high hip area because that's just going to emphasize that you're fuller up here. So again, this is a dot that we are going to X out completely. Drawing it in pencil, you're going to erase this. What we do need to do though is from the high hip, I'm just going to drop a line, basically just coming straight down and relatively parallel to the existing side seam on the master pattern. So I'm going to draw straight down like this and now I'll just finish connecting the rest of this together. I'll get my arm out of the way there and finish up the hemline and then we'll finish up the top portion of the hip line and here we'll connect the waist. And remember that this dart right here is no longer there. So you're basically going to do the same treatment on the front of the skirt pattern as well. Again, you simply do not need those darts. So that's a pretty simple treatment for the straight shape tip people. And please remember that when you are drawing off like this, as I have done these patterns, these patterns are called strip down patterns. They don't have any seam allowances on them. Again, for those of you who are new to SureFit Designs, let me show you how easy it is to put the seam allowances in place. We're going to use this handy tool, the key to the system, the designing stylus, and I'm going to draw against the slot, the edge of the slot that's nearest the outside edge, and that is going to put on my 5 8 inch seam allowances. This is an extremely handy tool to do that. And same thing for the inseam. You're going to put your seam allowances all the way around and then you will be trimming your pattern and you'll be ready to go and cut to do your test garment. You'll put your seam allowances, of course, on your skirt pattern as well. Okay, so the straight shape lady, just think about your body. You're pretty much rectangular. Darts are used for shaping. You don't have a lot of shaping, therefore you remove your darts. All right, well, that's the end of this little mini series. If you haven't yet already joined our SureFit Designs community, I invite you to do that. Please go to surefitdesigns.com. When you do, there will be a little pop-up. Just fill out the pop-up information. It's just like name, primary email address, and the country where you're at. And once you've done that and then click Submit, it's going to take you directly to the subscription gift page where there are four free gifts to get you started. And while you are in YouTube watching this, please everyone, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a goal of what are we getting up to? 100,000 people and subscribers in YouTube. I need all the help and support. So click that red button underneath or there's a, a little circle with my face in it. Just hit the subscribe button and I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. There's all kinds of more videos to watch on SureFit Designs for your benefit.